safety course. Turning to the pandemic, Ohio's case count remains below average, with 1,400 new reported in the past 24 hours. Hospitalizations are still up with 145 new admissions. Vaccine numbers remain stagnant, with 40% of the state getting at least one of the shots. The Wolstein Center and several other area locations are accepting walk-ins seven days a week. We also have links to providers on fox8.com. Just click Seen on TV. Well, community efforts are underway to try to get more shots into people's arms. This Saturday, a Cleveland businessman and barber will turn a barber shop into a vaccine clinic. Fox 8's Alex Stokes shows us why he thinks he can make an impact. I decided that if, if we are to get back to normal, that I needed to do my part. Comfort, familiarity, and honesty. Oh, really? Those are the values Waverly Willis, owner of Urban Cuts Barbershop, for more than a decade, hopes can ease the hesitation around getting a COVID shot. And I became part of the fabric of the neighborhood. And so I know people trust me. Your barber's like, I don't know, your barber's next to God. So wherever he goes, you go. On Saturday, Waverly is opening the doors of his Detroit Avenue location to host a vaccine clinic to reach what he calls a forgotten population. It's people out here that physically don't know how to book. They don't, they have a flip phone. Or they don't have a phone at all. They don't understand English. The walk-in only event is in partnership with the Cleveland Department of Public Health. There's been a slow uptake in vaccine. Um, we're looking at any way we can to really penetrate the neighborhoods. The clinic will be prepared to administer 100 shots of the Pfizer vaccine from noon to 430. After you get your shot, you can come right next door to Eagle Coffee to wait your mandatory 15 minutes and Waverly will be providing free refreshments. I give them credit for being involved in the community. The Department of Public Health says they are looking to meet people where they're at. We know that that is an uh, barber shops and beauty salons are places where uh, we go and have those conversations. We certainly appreciate it. Those conversations, Waverly says, can sometimes be misleading. This is an area where falsities can uh, get spread. I call them Facebook, Facebook facts. And he wants to combat that. Come talk to a professional, get armed with real facts. With help from the city and a familiar chair to sit in. Coming to the barber shop to, to get a, uh, uh, a shot is more like uh, getting a shot in your living room. So uh, it's just comfortable. In Cleveland, Alex Stokes, Fox 8 News. Alex, thank you. And Waverly will be hosting another vaccine clinic the following Saturday at his other location on Pearl Road during the same hours. A small rural district near Cincinnati is taking it.